Welcome back, everybody. We're back together here with another video. We're going to be talking about Disney. They have been in the pits, right? Yeah. It has not been good for Disney over um, the past few years or so. Um, remember, they actually tried to uh, get into politics and start attacking the state of Florida because um, the state of Florida came out with their parental rights and education bill, which is now law, which means that uh, teachers in schools can't actually be teaching, you know, sexuality and stuff, you know, to preteens in school. Nobody should be learning about this stuff. But Disney decided, you know what? We want to actually go and attack the state of Florida for protecting kids. Meanwhile, Disney is pushing a propaganda that's losing them billions of dollars that nobody wants to see. Well, they got some bad news today. They um, sued uh, the state of Florida because the state of Florida took away their um, uh, special district where basically Disney had their own governing power. When they took on, uh, got into politics, Ron DeSantis said, all right, we're going to um, take away the Reedy Creek um, district from you. And it's going to be under the state of Florida now. And then Disney panicked. They sued. And now they have lost <laughs> yet again. Uh, court dismisses Disney lawsuit against Florida Governor Ron DeSantis. What do you make of that? I think it's good. Usually, um, you know. Disney should government, I mean, govern their property. But in this case, you know, Disney is quite bad, you know, pushing their, you know, ideology and government has to come in. Yeah, I mean, Ron DeSantis, um, they did the right thing. The Republicans of Florida did the right thing to take away this uh, special district from Disney. When they actually complain about you know, teachers not being able to teach sexuality to underage kids and Disney actually sides with that woke ideology. Yeah. And we saw, um, remember, what was it Disneyland where you had the man in the dress? Yeah. I mean, full, full mustache and everything. I believe that was Disneyland in California. I mean, that is what Disney has turned into. They're not a family friendly company anymore. No, they destroyed their own brand. Yeah. And it's going to get worse for them too, you know, going forward. I mean, I think 2024 is going to be a bad year for uh, Disney. Last year was pretty bad. How much money did they lose at the box office? Like three billion? Or more? Well, I think it's, it's definitely probably over um, a billion for sure. Uh, Dollar Destiny, Disaster, a lot of movies that came out with them. I think the only movie that made money was um, Guardians of the Galaxy 3. Yeah, but Bob Iger still get paid a lot. Yeah, he made he made uh thirty two um million dollars for failing really, but um I remember, you know, back in the day he used to get like in the sixties of millions of dollars when they were really, really rolling in money. The MCU was uh doing re really good. Now the MCU is dead, Star Wars is dead, but they still have those executives, I believe, over there that were um, pushing, you know, the gay agenda in their properties. Remember, they said that they were going to um, have like 50 percent of a uh, new production material being like um, um, gay people of color kind of thing. And one of the executives did say she had a not so secret gay agenda. Mm -hmm. Completely goes against, you know, the kind of Disney men you grew up with. Right. Mm -hmm. So. The special district now is no more. This lawsuit now is dead. What do you think the future of Disney is going to be now going forward since they lost this? It's over. Well, it won't be over if um, that guy, um, the investor, like he wants. Oh, Nelson Piltz. Yeah. 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 If he, you know. Can get more power. Get more power and stuff. Yeah, but mm -hmm. I'm not sure if um, that's going to happen. I need to follow up a little bit more on that uh, to see what's actually going to happen because the shareholders cannot be happy. I mean, they should really be trying to force Bob Iger out, you know, if he does not turn things around. Now, Bob Iger did say, hey, we messed up. We don't want to be in politics anymore. And this is probably the reason why. 
You well, lost your not, own district. Oh, sorry. No, no, go ahead. He's not doing anything, though. No, no. He, Bob Iger enabled all this stuff. I said it before. Bob Chapat, the old CEO, was a puppet. A Bob Iger. Bob Iger is the man. He was the final decision maker. He was one of the most powerful executives out there, one of the uh, most influential. And now the company's in the tank. I mean, mm. why in the world would you let your company get into politics? You shouldn't be taking on a state government. Because, uh, you know, Disney is actually a California company, really. They're yeah, California base. I think he, you know, take his, you know, the ideology more seriously than the company profit. Yeah, but I, I think that Bob Iger actually does know that all this stuff is bad for business. But I think that he pandered. He panders too much to the Waltz in his company. And that's the problem. You know, mm -hmm. him coming in saying, uh, yeah, we we shouldn't have been in politics and stuff like that. Look at the people that are surrounding Disney. It's way too many woke activists out there. Kathleen Kennedy, prime example. That's why that Ray movie probably ain't going to get made or maybe it'll get made and it's not going to do good. Mm -hmm. So. And the thing is it's kind of funny. Disney um, tried to bring up this lawsuit on First Amendment rights. Uh, no, that's that's not going to work. Even the um, the judge even said that Disney did not have standing um, when it came to this. You know, the state gave and the state take it away. <laughs> Do you think this case is more about when? Is the government should step in to, you know, the private company? Well, well, the um, it, it wasn't that. I mean, this company stepped into the government. They got into politics. I mean, the government is supposed to govern. You're Disney. You're supposed to entertain. I mean, there was no reason for them to actually go to go after Disney, you know, over protecting kids from um, being sexualized. I mean, is that now the new values of Disney? That's pretty disgusting, if you ask me. Well, yeah, it is disgusting, but it is the private business where... Yeah, private businesses shouldn't be engaged in politics. When I worked at um, worked at um, my regular day job, you know, we didn't get into politics at all. Of course, you know, there's probably like political angles to certain things, but they got they dove all in. They said we are going after the state of Florida. For protecting kids. They didn't like it. Yeah, but do you think they argue that the government step in to, you know, want to take over the private business? Thing? Well, they're not taking over the private business. No. That, that, that district right there was created by the government back in the 50s. So the government could, oh, could take oh, it away. Yeah. And when it. When it was all said and done, they took it away. So, but what do you guys think of this? What do you guys make about Disney taking the L in court? This is a loss. Had a feeling this was going to happen. They were not going to win this battle. They really weren't. But anything else you got to say about this? No. Okay, guys, we'll be back tomorrow with another video. Until then, be safe. Goodbye.